this is Greg from Greg Cheek Speaks, and this is One is Greater Than Z. This video's about. Now, I'm not in Sydney, Australia, although it looks like it. That is a, a performing arts center. That is the Kaufman Center here in beautiful downtown Kansas City, Missouri. The Kaufman Center is the home of the Kansas City Symphony, the Kansas City Ballet, and the Kansas City Opera. And it was the vision of Muriel Kaufman in 1994. She passed away and her family continued on. And in 1997, this beautiful structure was built and has since had thousands of performance and changed really thousands of lives. But the reason for this video is one is greater than zero is the idea by doing one thing. We all know the story of the little kid on the side of the ocean and he's throwing the shells or the starfish and he's throwing it out to sea and somebody says, well, what are you doing? You know, well, I'm trying to save this shell of starfish. And somebody says, the pessimist says, well, you know, what possibly can you do? Look at all these shells here. What can it do? Well, it means a lot to that one shell, that one person going there. So this one idea, one thought. So I'm going to start this, it, it's a series, and I've got an entire list of all these different ideas of one is greater than zero that has happened in my life. Those things that have changed my life, that has helped my life through my whole career. So I was trying to figure out which one I was going to start with. So I'm going to start with one from back home. And uh, so this is for Jerry Reynolds, who has been with the Sacramento Kings since the inception, all the way back to 1985, when they came from Kansas City. They used to play right back over there at the Kemper Arena, and they moved to Sacramento. And uh, Jerry Reynolds, you know, at that time when the Sacramento Kings came to Sacramento, it was a very small, it was almost like a, like a college team. So anyway, I graduated college in 1989. I'm a big Kings fan. I go off in the military. 1990, Desert Storm happens. So I am in the middle of the desert. I'm working as a general's aide, but I'm in the middle of the desert. The ground war is getting ready to start literally in minutes. The helicopter's winding. We have a thing called a sat phone. So on the sat phone, uh, the general said I can make one phone call. So I tried to call my wife, didn't work. I said, hey, hey sir, you go, okay, I tried to call my mom, didn't work. I tried to call my father, didn't work. Out of dice. Just wanted to let everybody know I was okay. Nobody had heard from me for a while. So I had a card in my pocket, I swear. I had a card, and I talked to Jerry Reynolds about this at a recent game uh, with the Utah Jazz in Salt Lake City, and we were both dying laughing. Matter of fact, I, the management group uh, right here, the management group I talked to, I did some uh, speaking and interviewing skills at the NBA Summer League. I let them know about this and uh, they talked to Jerry about it. But, but so anyway, I had a number to the Sacramento Kings main office and I called them and a wonderful lady answered the phone and I said, hey, my name is Greg Cheek. I'm in Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm. I'm a lieutenant. We're getting ready to go, uh, you know, getting ready to head off into things here. And I just want to let my wife know, and she was in Cottonwood, California, north of there. We had a, a son was just born, Eric, which by the way, Eric is now serving in Turkey. And my daughter is, uh, my son is in the Air Force in Turkey, and my daughter's at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri as a, uh, a Lieutenant Corps Engineers. I just thought I'd throw that in there. But, so I said, can I speak to Jerry Reynolds, please? And so she goes, oh sure, okay. So coach picks up the phone and I said, hey coach, this is Greg Cheek, told him what was going on. I said, could you please call my wife in Cottonwood, California and tell her that I'm fine, that I'm okay and that I will talk to her soon. When, when this is over, I really couldn't talk about anything that was going on, but just, just let her know it's okay. And you know, at the time we were flying helicopters, all kinds of crazy weather. There had been several helicopter crashes. Yeah, there was all kinds of words about possible chemical attacks. I just want to let her know it was okay. I love her and my son and who knows what's going to happen. Jerry Reynolds, he came through. And when it was all done and I called back and talked to my wife, she said, did you know Jerry Reynolds called me from the Sacramento Kings to tell me you were okay? So one is greater than zero. And Jerry Reynolds actually, you know, he was with the Kings here uh, when they moved from here to Sacramento. And before that, he was coaching at Pittsburgh State near here uh, over in Kansas. So anyway, one is greater than zero. I just want you to know, people ask me all the time, how in the world are you a Kings fan through all of these years? So since 1985 until now, I am a diehard Kings fan. I, I try not to ever miss a game. If I have to watch it on a link on a screen or whatever, I'm a big, big fan. 
that is the reason why right there. One is greater than zero. That one phone call that he made, the phone call he took from me, called my wife. I will forever, ever, ever be a Kings fan and forever grateful for Jerry Reynolds. So Jerry, coach, if you're seeing this, uh, thank you so much. I shared it obviously, as you know, with uh, the management staff. Thank you so much for doing that for me back in uh, 1990 during Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm. And at that point in my life, and even today, as I'm standing here as a brand new entrepreneur, about a half, half a year old, uh, hopefully I'll see you at the NBA Summer League. I'm gonna be there helping out uh, athletes doing interview skills again. But I wanna let you know, one is greater than zero all the time. This is Greg from Great Cheek Speaks in beautiful downtown Kansas City, Missouri, thanking you. One is greater than zero. I love y'all, have a great night, keep up the motivation, and I hope everybody has a great, great day. Thank you.